Thank you so much for staying with us on this amazing Monday edition of Wake Up Nigeria. On Mondays, we like to motivate you to get on with all you have to do. And of course, for a number of weeks now, I've been having Mr. Fola Daniel Adela C, the CEO at Edible Pen Training and Development Limited. He is also an international keynote speaker, training facilitator, training professional. And today we'll be discussing the 80-20 rule. Welcome back you. to Wake Up Nigeria, Mr. Fola. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing very well, thank you. All right. So today for our final session, right? I mean, it's been four weeks long. This is yeah. the fourth week. Um, we're talking about the 80-20 rule now. What is the 80-20 rule? Okay, so the 80-20 rule is also known as the Pareto principle, opined by Pareto himself. Okay. So the idea of the 80-20 rule is a principle that helps you become more productive. Mm. And what it simply says is that 80% of the results you get in life mm -hmm. are determined by 20% of the things that you do. Mm. In other words, if you do 100 things, you realize that when you analyze, when you audit most of what you do, yeah. it's only 20% of what you're doing that produces 80% of the results that you're getting. So the idea is, if only 20% of the things that you're doing produce 80% of your results, why don't you focus more on the 20% that produces the results so that you can become more productive? Mm. Let's say that you're doing 10 things. If you look yeah. at all the 10 things that you're doing, and maybe you're getting a millionaire from 10 things. If you analyze very well, you realize that maybe just two produce 8 million mm. out of maybe 10 million that you get or 80,000 out of maybe 100,000 that you're getting. So the idea is if only 20% of what you're doing produces 80% of your results, try and focus more on the 20%. Zero in. Zero Look in. at everything mm. that you're doing. Zero in mm. on what gets you more results mm. and do more of that. Spend more time doing those things mm. that give you more results mm. instead of chasing all those other things. And in business, it's applicable. In your personal life, it's applicable. Mm. You see people that are doing so many things mm. and they're spending more resources, taking money from what is giving them a lot of money to go and spend on those other things that are not giving them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they wonder, why am I spending so much on this thing? It's not giving me results. Mm -hmm. And it looks big. It looks better. It looks nice. Sometimes we like it for the attention or the glamour. Yeah. But yeah. what is really giving you money mm -hmm. is not that thing that you're paying attention to. Attention so if you really to want to increase your productivity, mm -hmm. ask yourself, what are the things that I'm doing mm. and which one gives me more results? Mm -hmm. Then focus more on those things because those if you do that, mm. you get more results. Okay, so now when you say results, right, I, I hear you use a lot of financial um, 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 examples yep. now. So are, we, so, so are you now saying, okay, fine, when you talk about productivity, yes. finances are things that uh, we, we should actually hope to get yeah. out of it yeah. because some people actually do or dabble into other things yeah. based on, they call it passion. Right? Exactly. And then in this time and day and age of where we're in in Nigeria, thanks to the economy and amongst other things, yeah. we have CEOs popping up every single day. Yeah. People trying to start their side hustle, yeah. even as they have a main job that literally yeah. foots their bills. Exactly. So now, how, what would you say to those kind of people? So the first thing you need to first of all do is to ask yourself, what pays the bills? Mm -hmm. Passion has to wait <laughs> for what pays the bills. <laughs> It's easier if your passion is able to pay your bills at the same time. Mm -hmm. But if your passion will happen over time mm -hmm. or will pay your bills over time, mm -hmm. you need to first of all focus on what pays the bills. Mm -hmm. And when you make money, you then pour what, uh, the money that you're making into your passion. Take, for example, helping people, donating money to people is not passion for, it's not passion for Bill Gates. He first of all had to make money from Microsoft and all of that and eventually started pouring money into vaccines and research and stuff like that. Even if, it, even if helping people is his passion, that passion would not have brought the money, that, the kind of money that he's giving to people today. Mm -hmm. So if your passion doesn't make money now, mm -hmm. look for what makes money. Mm -hmm. When you make the money, then you can divert the money into your passion. Mm -hmm. So it's still the same thing. It's still applicable. Mm -hmm. First of all, look at what gave, gives you more results mm -hmm. in whatever it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Focus on that. When you multiply your results and create systems out of it, mm -hmm. then you can go and focus on your passion. Okay. If you ask me what my passion is, I'll just go everywhere and just talk and, and talk and talk. <laughs> you, you know, but you know, sometimes yeah. you have to do some other things 
mm -hmm. that will let you do the talking that you want to do. You want to do. Okay, that's, that, that, I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But then, then again, we also have people that over time have literally said, okay, you know what, I, was have, I, I worked at this job for yeah. years and years and all of that. But one day I woke up and decided, you know what, I'm going to quit. I'm going to focus, yeah. focus on my passion and I'm going to follow it through. And they did follow that through and it and actually it worked. worked for them. It yeah. was difficult in the beginning. Yeah. Of course, they had to make certain sacrifices, but yeah. it helped. So what of situations like that? So what you need to also do is call calculated risks. Mm. For example, at some point when I was in paid employment, I realized that whatever I was earning in a month was nothing compared to what I would earn in a day doing a one-day training or doing mm. a two-day training. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'll do a two-day training and what I would earn from it will pay like three months' salary. Mm. So the question is, does it make sense to stay on, on the job? Mm -hmm. So if that's the situation, you've calculated it well, you've planned and you see that it makes more sense to focus on this, then do it. Yeah, but for really some right. people, you need to calm down. It's not everybody that should just jump out of a job yeah. just because you have a new idea. Mm -hmm. Allow the job to go on. Mm -hmm. Build the business gradually on gradually. the side. Mm -hmm. When the business is now sustainable, mm -hmm. then you can leave the job and focus on the business. Mm -hmm. But for most people, that's what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the job, build the business. Mm -hmm. But if you realize that there's a huge prospect in the business and it requires your attention, no other person can do it. Do You've it. done your calculation and it's going to work. Mm -hmm. Particularly if it's food related, because mm -hmm. you know everybody will buy food, why not? Mm -hmm. But it's very important that you do your calculations do your before you make any move. Of course, because I mean now, as I said, a lot of people are starting up businesses, yeah. literally just popping up here and there, trying yeah. to like make ends meet. Yeah. Now you even see more people even doing more than just one side hustle. True, you can two, three, three, four, five, four, five, so long as you can automate them. As, yeah, okay. so the, the thing is, you can do so many things, mm -hmm. but as far as the Pareto principle is concerned, it's not even saying, we're not saying don't do any other thing. Mm -hmm. We're simply saying that look at the most productive ones. Most productive. Look at the ones that give you the best results. Mm -hmm. Focus, Focus your, energy your energy on energy. those ones. Now, if yeah. you tie it back to the four Ds of management mm. that we discussed, mm -hmm. one says do, do, the other one says defer, defer. third one says delegate, delegate. then delete. delete. So what you now do is when you've identified the 20% mm -hmm. that produces 80% of results, do those ones. The remaining 80% delegate them. Delegate. Oh, okay. That actually makes So sense. you really don't have to stop them, mm. but those are the things you should outsource. Mm -hmm. Let other people manage them for you. Mm -hmm. Over time, they may be become bigger. Mm. But right now, they are not the main drivers of your income. Mm -hmm. They are not the main drivers of your results. Mm -hmm. So focus on the main drivers of your results. Let other people handle the other and 80%. The other 80%. So that way, you will multiply your productivity, mm -hmm. either as an individual, as an organization, as a group of people. You just watch your income triple. Mm -hmm. You watch your activities. You just realize that even online, mm -hmm. In digital marketing, yeah. if you if social media is your strategy, it also works. It, yeah. I mean, it works. Yeah. You realize that if you're doing 10 things, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you did just one thing or just Some, one platform yeah, and, and it's one. giving you all the results. Mm. Focus on that focus platform. On this. Oh, okay, 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 okay. As opposed to spreading yourself thin and not. I mean, that makes yeah. a whole lot of sense. Anyways, I mean, it's always, I mean, so it's insightful talking to you and all of that. So now that we are literally, come, we've come to the end of this four months now. So let's do a quick recap from top to bottom, from what we handled for the first week, the second week. I mean, you already touched a little yeah. bit about the four Ds. So just run us through. So we talked about the power of affirmation yes. the first time, and yeah. the power of affirmation is something that is so, so important, meaning speak to yourself, mm -hmm. tell yourself you're good, tell yourself you're better, believe it, believe say it, it yes. and take action. action. And the power of affirmation, mm -hmm. again, speaks to your brain. Mm -hmm. Remember what we said earlier, that what other people say to you is not as powerful as what, what you reinforce. Yeah, reinforce. So it's very important. Important. Yeah. And moving on from the power of affirmation, uh, okay, I can't remember the yeah, second, the second now, one, okay. but we moved on to time management, yes. and, which is the four Ds of time management, yes. do, defer, delegate, and delete, delete yeah. meaning that whatever is important, do, do it, it now. Whatever can wait a bit, it's not that it's not important, but you can wait, then postpone it maybe till later in the day, mm -hmm. later in the week, later in the month. Anything mm -hmm. that is not so important so important that you are the only one that can do it. Mm -hmm. So the, other, the, the second week was the importance of a growth. Mindset. Okay, yeah, important, importance of growth yes. mindset. See, yeah. yeah, now for growth mindset, mm -hmm. what we say is that stay on the learning curve. Mm. Don't ever come out of it. You must keep learning all the time. If you get to the point where you stop learning, mm -hmm. then there is danger. So make sure you don't ever stop learning. Right. Now back to the time management, anything that someone else can do, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be you, then let somebody else do, do it. it in order to save time. 
yes. for yourself. Yes. And whatever is not so important, it looks like it's important, but it's not so important. Mm -hmm. You don't miss it if you don't do it. Yes. And it doesn't add to your bottom line. Then delete it. Delete it. Amazing. And today we say that. Yeah. The 8020 rule, use it to multiply, multiply your, productivity. your productivity. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Fuller. Definitely cannot wait for our next session. Not sure when that's going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be very soon. I look forward to it. All too. right. We have breakfast for you in the kitchen. Awesome. Yes. Uh, and we'll be heading over to the kitchen right now.